Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, you are so good to us to allow us to make it here. Thank you for an incredible year. Thank you for one last tournament with Garrison. Uh, we just, God, pray that your name is glorified. Mm -hmm. um, whether a win or a loss, whether zero or three pounds, uh, God, allow us to have fun. Allow this video to be fun for the viewer. And uh, God, we love you. We praise you. Amen. Amen. Right. Give me that punch rate. All right, spot one didn't work out. We're gonna make our long run to the uh, Apopka Canal. So we'll see y'all in about an hour. I know, I saw like the old Bassmaster Classic. Well, a little update for you guys. Somebody was sitting on our first uh, bed fishing slash canal spot. So we uh, tried to go in there. I don't know, they were, they were fishing all of our fish. So we're at our second canal here that we saw some big ones at. Not a whole lot of options left. We're just gonna go fishing. We're just gonna have fun and try to catch them in here. And uh, See how we do. Got him? Oh, yeah. You still got him. Hey, bring him in. Is he 12 inches? Maybe. <laughs> you know what? It's like my second cast. Heck yeah. I'm a little finesse of this thing. Thinky dink. Where's your board? It's down there. I haven't Where? moved it yet. Right, right where your feet, where your feet are. Right there. Right there. Right there. You gotta pull it out. You gotta pull it out. Yeah. <laughs> do we got a 12 incher? <gasps> we do. We got a keeper. <laughs> Let's go. We're not, we're not zeroing. We're not zeroing today. Where did you cast? I know, which exact area? He might have, he might have, he might have been a male. That corner right there. Oh, that corner, okay. Well done. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Oh, my God. Awesome. No, stop, stop, stop. You're good. Did it come off? Yeah. Is that a good one? I don't know. My, 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 my bait was just... Zoom it. I mean like. That looks like a good fish. I bet it was zooming fast. Here he is. Get him. Yes, sir. Yeah, back here. Yes, sir. All right. It's two in a row. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Chill. He's peeing. There we go. Fish number two. A respectable one. This one will probably go two pounds. A little over two. All right, here we go. All right, folks, that's a little bit of confidence. Not amazing, not a giant, but we'll take it. Got him, got him, got him. Yes, 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 Thank you, Lord. All right, next one, next one. That's a four and a half. Yeah, four and a half. Oh. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes. Keep going. Okay. All right, here we go. A little bit of rain never hurt nobody. I'm not sure how you catch them in this kind of weather. Oh. Comment below what you think. Because <laughs> I don't know. And if you're curious, I have great rain gear. This is the AFCO Hydronaut suit. It has been pouring for like an hour and I am dry as toast on the inside, besides, of course, some moisture around my crotch, which is expected. You guys can shop below 15% off using code TRF for uh, AFCO clothes, baby. <laughs> Get you some. Oh, that's lightning. You see that? It flashed. So a lot of GoPro batteries. We were back at the ramp for weigh-in. Garrison got the weigh-in bag. I'm on my phone, and we're gonna get us uh, our fish. We realized he's got a tag in him. Didn't even see that. And there's our three magnums. Three red bags. Three red bags. Team up to Texas A&M. Texas A&M. Garrison and Tyler. Garrison, Tyler, Texas A&M, right here, right here. All right. 
for them big ones like Kevin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got some big ones there, guys. Here we go. Seven pounds, six ounces for the Texas A&M. All right, guys. Not exactly what you wanted, but tomorrow's a new day. Yeah, we had a hard time uh, finding the ones we saw, or catching the ones we saw, so hopefully we can get them, get them back tomorrow. So you do a little bed fishing? Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> all right. All right. We'll go with that. Thanks, Tyler. And Garrison. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Cooper and Katie. Well, this college championship vlog is definitely all over the place. Uh, it is day two in the morning here at the tournament. We ended with seven pounds, six ounces, I believe, yesterday. Usually, I like to split the tournament days up uh, to different videos, but I think this one I'm going to lump all together for you guys. It's cold. As you can tell, I'm in my full bibs and jacket now. As I was when it was raining yesterday, but today it's going to be bluebird skies and 48 degrees. Here in Florida, the temperature dropped 30 degrees overnight, which... Uh, doesn't usually bode well for most fish, but we're hoping that the bed fish we found are gonna be there and maybe they're gonna be on beds, who knows? We're just kinda gonna play it by ear and go fishing today. The cool thing about this body of water is that 30 pounds, which is what we need today, is not out of the question anywhere in this whole chain of lakes. So we're gonna get the rods out, we're gonna go to fishing and uh, no B-roll, we'll see you guys at our first spot. Maybe our last day together, hopefully not. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your son, uh, that his sacrifice allows us to um, just live our lives and uh, knowing that we are, are saved, uh, knowing that we are going to spend eternity with you, which gives us so much freedom just to have fun in this life and, and reflect you. So I pray that today we reflect you well, uh, that at the weigh-in stage, if it's our last time, that we uh, you know, let people know who we are and what you've done for us and uh, God, just help us catch some big fish today. If not, you're still good. Uh, you made us, you, you allowed us to get here and represent you here, but uh, a lot of have fun today. Amen. 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 We, we got one. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in our super clear canal that we bedfished yesterday and uh, not seeing as many cruisers, which means they either moved all the way to the back or they moved all the way out. So we're going to keep cruising around. Garrison got one though on the, the wacky rig, but it done ate it so good that we got to use surgery. Give that boy a measure. <laughs> and if he's 12 inches, we're going away in. Oh, that's a 13 incher, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Hunt, we're seeing you away in. Look, you turn the live well on. We don't even need the live well for that boy. Just stick him on a stringer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Two 12 inches, boy. Uh oh, stinky. Got us a fish. It'll be 12 inches. Let's go, baby. Fill this thinking limit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 12 incher. Big bass dreams. <laughs> update, update. Uh, we didn't find any fish there. Actually, we found tons of fish, but they were just cruising again. They weren't actually eating. So classic spawn scenario, or just, just pre-spawn, when their fish are done feeding and they are uh, starting to get ready to pair up. And just the weather we had didn't allow these fish to get there. So we're gonna go fish a few more docks, fish a few more canals, and then with the two fish, we're just gonna go throw a jerk bait and have some fun because I know the guys have been catching them jerking and throwing a, a rattle trap. So we'll see. I'm just happy to be here. Happy to be at the tournament, fishing with Garrison. And uh, yeah, we'll see y'all. Hopefully when we catch a bait, that's the plan. Little update for you guys. We uh, made the run back to Lake Eustis. One of our fish died in the live well. So we can't call a fish out now, so I'm not saying our day is over because anything can happen here on the Harris chain, but uh, it's definitely gotten a lot harder to catch that dirty 30 with one dead tiny little fish. So we're just going to have fun, just going to catch fish. We're here at the championship, just going to have a good time and uh, hopefully see y'all when we catch some more beans. Why didn't we do this earlier? So we just said scratch everything we know about bass fishing on a Harris chain and just go fishing. So that's what we did. And I say it all the time in my videos, if you're not catching them, just go catch fish, go do your confidence thing. And I know they bought a jerk bait here. And I, I knew it all week. And I should have just stinking done it. As Andy Montgomery would say, I'm a doo-doo head. Got him on the Strike King KVD jerk bait. I don't know, two, just over two pounds. Yeah. 
you told me. Oh, gosh. Well, there's another keeper. Thank you, sir, for eating. He's got like, oh, he's got leeches. I don't know if you can see this. He's got leeches inside of his mouth. They're all crawling around. Yuck. All right, keeper number four. Ooh, Adam, hard. I'm bummed that I got a stinking dead fish now. Dang it. Especially whenever we did good. Like the Rayburn takes home and did really good. See y'all there. Boat 110. Oh, what a catch. There we go. Thank you. All right, Garrison has gotten a bag. We are going to load up <laughs> our biggins. <laughs> Man, this is a good time. Reaching deep into that Skeeter live well. Let's get these megas. Mega bag alert. Usually you reach with, uh, they get the smallest one first, but we're gonna go ahead and get the largest one first. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. don't let anybody see how big our tanks are. Oh, baby. Biggins. Oh, yeah. She dead. <laughs> <laughs> Texas A&M, Garrison and Tyler. Good to see you gentlemen. Good all right, let's see what you got here. Yesterday, 7-6. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You can just split that almost. 7-6 uh, yesterday, 5-3 today. Total 12. Nine, exactly. twelve, nine. I got, I, thank you. I got to say something. So this is my last college uh, uh, time walking across the stage. Yes, sir. It's been an awesome four years. Uh, I get to document all this for YouTube, and uh, God has been so good to us to qualify for some championships and have a good time. Absolutely. And uh, I just love what I get to do. And uh, you guys have an awesome fishery. This, being able to pull up here and park your boats is super cool. Absolutely. And thanks to FLW for the awesome four years. Yes, and uh, I'm kind of sad, but yeah. that's how it goes, you know. Don't tear up on me now. I'm Don't tear up. Up. Let's give all of our seniors a round of applause. Thank you so much. Thanks, 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 yeah. thank you. University of Central Arkansas. That means a lot right there because uh, that's what we want to do. Well, uh, I'm happy to be here. Woo! Well, folks of various kinds and shapes, that is it for college fishing. That is uh, my college career. If you guys are new to the channel. You guys got quite a lot of catching up to do. I, uh, I've had much better tournaments than this, and believe it or not, I've had, better, I've had worse tournaments than this. But it's all part of the game, it's all part of the fun. And uh, I'm just happy to be here. You know, like I mentioned on stage, God has been so good to me to allow me to fish college and just uh, allow me to experience the things that I did. Uh, to have the sponsors that I do, to have Skeeter, Yamaha, uh, AFCO, Luz, Cigar, I could name them all. Um, it's just amazing. I love being able to travel and fish, and the tournament, the tournament scene is awesome. Uh, will I make tournaments my my goal in life? I'm not sure. Might might not. Uh, it'll definitely always be a little part of my life. But the college fishing scene is done. I don't think I'm going back to get my master's. I've already been gone for a year. So uh, ah, sentimental, kind of walking away from that last way in. That's rough. You know, I always like to go over what gear I caught my fish on this week, uh, lose rods and reels, and I really didn't have a stellar week, so I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I don't have a pattern that kind of stuck out, but I did catch a few on, uh, on a jerkbait this afternoon, so I'll have my jerkbait combo linked below. It is an incredible combo. It's light as a feather, and uh, love it for throwing those shallow diving jerkbaits. But we're going to stick the rest of our lose rods and reels in, uh, in the rod box and see you guys on the next one, I guess. Well, folks, we're going to end this video here, end this college fishing scene right here in Florida with my buddy Garrison. The past two years have been so much fun. Having you along has been a blast. The viewers have loved you. Thank you. And uh, it's, it's just awesome. This sport allows you to, to, to travel the country and see some awesome places. I mean, Garrison and I fish some of the best lakes in the country for all three species of bass. Toledo Bend, Rayburn, Clear Lake, St. Lawrence River, and the Smith Lake. This does like. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are not a subscriber to this channel, I love taking you guys on all my adventures, whether it's a fishing challenge, whether it's a tournament like this, a high stakes tournament, or whether it's just going out and catching fish for fun and teaching you guys how to do it for yourself. So we'll see you guys in the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing.